actually, y'all can just forget that last statement. If one of you guys sign this paper, I will force Chris Paul to retire. <laughs> actually, if I sign this paper, Chris Paul, you gotta retire, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and sign it. How do you see three and one? This first one is dudes don't let you say anything anymore. Mm, that car trouble was mean as hell. Oh, get off that nigga dick, bro. What is you doing? What? No, I, you right. I was dick riding. That's what I'm saying, bro. You got to calm down with that shit. Yeah, my fault, my fault. Yeah. That was an okay shot right there, though. Oh, my God, bro. Is dick riding all you do? Mm -hmm. No, I'm like, saying, you no. literally got that nigga dick in your mouth right now. I see it. I'm saying the shot was oh, okay. Oh, all right. All right, bro. <laughs> I thought Dick Ryan was like a exaggeration. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, you're right. All right. Watch the game. Just watch the game. This is basketball right here. Bro, like, stop like, dick riding, bro. No, That's no. all you literally talk about. I'm saying this is a game of basketball. I don't basketball. want to watch this shit no more, bro. <laughs> Damn. All right, man. These niggas suck for real. Hey, I'll cross all them niggas up. They suck bro, for real. Hey, them they niggas, bro, get off their dicks. Are what? They trying their best, bro. Get off their dicks. No, no. I was, I was showing love and you said I was dick riding. Yes. Now I'm saying they sorry. Correct. That's still dick riding? Yes. Oh, my God. That's uh, so what would you say then? What? What would you say about this game of basketball? What would you say? What would I say? Yeah, what would you say? What's uh, not dick riding? Say, say something. Uh, bro, God damn. Get off that nigga dick, bro. Oh, this is a whole conversation, Man, bro. You bro. dick riding everybody. You are on this nigga dick, bro. Damn. Damn, bro. All right, man. I hate this world, bro. For real. And now he on the world dick. You hear him? Get off of it, bro. That's what I'm, bro. Damn. <laughs> he on the world dick, bro. <laughs> bro. Nah, stop. All right, this Look, next one is how Doc Rivers was in the locker room after losing to Miami Heat in the second round. When you first got on this team, I said this year is going to be something special. I said Joel B and James Harden on the same team. Oh, we gonna make Philly proud. Mm -hmm. We gonna make him proud. And then I watched you play your first few games here. And I looked at the staff, I said, staff, is James Harden open to y'all? And they said, Doc, don't worry about it, he just overthinking. I said, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I let it go. I thought I was just being paranoid. And then Joel and B got hurt. And I said, we still got James Harden, so we all good for the first two games of the series. And they said, we should be good. We should be. <laughs> and then I watched you play those games, James Harden. And I looked back at my staff and I said, we not good, y'all. This is some of the sorriest minutes of basketball I've never seen in my life. <laughs> but don't worry about it, James. I already know what the media gonna say. The media gonna say Doc Rivers is a bad coach. They gonna say Doc Rivers was running the wrong plays. They would say Doc Rivers blew three one leads before in the past, so he. <laughs> and it always, hey, it don't matter how sorry the players is playing. It it really, oh, because that's how Doc Doc Rivers sounds. It don't matter how sorry the players is playing. It's always gonna fall on Doc Rivers. I ain't, they ain't even gotta run no plays for real. It's always gonna fall on Doc. We probably gonna blow this lead too. But James, we never got the lead. <laughs> we never got it, James. And I'm not too worried about what the media gonna say, cause I wanna know what you gonna say, James. <laughs> you got the flow, James. Do something on it. Cause you didn't do nothing on it out there. James. James, I need you to say something. How is Joel Embiid, a big man, shooting better three than you, James Harden? How is he doing that? <laughs> James, you shot two shots in the second half and hit none. Did you give up? James, did you give up? Just let me know. I need to know. I think I'm going crazy. Did you give up out there? Because every time I get a superstars on the team, they act like they can't play basketball no more, and it's killing me. So I'm, I'm, I'm giving it to you. Tell me something, because I need to know. <laughs> James, take your ass back to the Rockets. I'm not playing with you. I'm, hey, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you. Tell them I quit anyway. Even if I'm fine, tell them I quit. James. Tell them I quit. Nah, no, that's nasty. All right, this is the last one. This is how the Suns' locker room was after getting blew out in Game 7. 
Jesus. But the commissioner, he wants to stop by and have a few words. Hey guys, it's Adam Silver, the NBA commissioner, and I'll be quick and straight to the point. Uh, we are removing the Phoenix Suns as an NBA team because y'all niggas are truly sorry. I'm not too sure why this man's agreeing with me. You are fired. Um, <laughs> And also, I just want to let you guys know that we're checking the game for tampering and we already have the refs under investigation because there's just no way that Luka and the Mavericks did y'all niggas that dirty. I also brought a doctor with me to make sure that the NBA players didn't have any prior injuries that we didn't know of. And if y'all didn't, you will be out the NBA as well. And while he's doing that, before you go, I do want you guys to sign this petition for Chris Paul's retirement. And if enough of you guys do Bruh. sign this petition, Chris Paul will be forced to retire. And before y'all make a decision, I do want to let y'all know he had one point and three quarters. And then I didn't watch that game. Is that that is that fucking serious? Is that serious? Hold on. How hold on. I got I gotta. How many points did Chris Paul have his last game? This nigga put up 10. This man put up 10 points in the game seven. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. In the fourth quarter, nigga wanna start shooting like it's gonna change something. Y'all was down by 40. Not sure, not trying to <laughs> anybody, just letting y'all know. Um, Oh, actually, y'all can just forget that last statement. If one of you guys sign this paper, I will force Chris Paul to retire. <laughs> actually, if I sign this paper, Chris Paul, you got to retire. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and sign it. So you are now officially retired. Um, sorry about that. Devin Booker, why are you crying? Man, it's because we weren't supposed to go out like that. <laughs> it was no one see. <laughs> okay. Um, doctor, is anything wrong with the players? Not at all, Mr. Silver. Alright, thank you guys for being in the NBA. You are all out. I appreciate you. Find another job. Find another job. <laughs> Alright, uh, and Chris Paul, hey, I'm very sorry. I know you wanted to really win that ring, but that was a game seven. You can't be playing like that, so. Um, you could be an announcer. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys. Told that boy he can be an announcer. That is insane. That is insane. That is insane. I mean, I said you can be an announcer. I would want to fight. I ain't gonna lie. Chris Paul about to start streaming on Twitch. Stop.